What's good, y'all? What time is it? It's 6.38. All right, y'all about to do this little pre-trip inspection. I already checked the front, the front steer tire, the left uh, driver's side, and I checked my front signal lights, and they're good. Check the suspension of the truck, or you know, make sure it's not leaning and it's not leaking. I don't know how well y'all gonna be able to see this, but you know, just gotta make sure this. If the tire moves around a lot and that indicates it's, it is low i call it a loose tire and they <laughs> they uh they thought that was funny here because it's just just a low tire and a loose tire the loose it being loose indicates that it's low usually i'll use a hammer last year i used a hammer Got this one put on yesterday, I think. Oh, you see my license plate. Lights working. I think it's a ball. Hold on one side, but it's, you can see it's not covered, properly displayed. Lights ain't crack damaged or loose and properly functioning. See, I got a light on this side of the truck from, from the scale building. That's helpful. Make sure there ain't nothing wedge in there, nothing like that. Yesterday I ended up with a flat tire. Had a big old hole in it from running over something at the landfill. Landing gears properly secured, not cracked, damaged, or loose. Adequate clearance. And these terms I'm I'm using are terms that you gotta use on the test the preacher preacher test there's proper tread on here you know there's nothing in my bud spacing nothing wedged in between the bud spacing make sure all my caps are secure the tank fuel tank and hydraulic fluid tanks aren't you know, the bands are properly placed, properly mounted, not crack damage or loose, no missing fasteners. That's the shop truck, utility truck, if you will. Think we're good on that. Yeah. See, we've got to plug the trucks in. You know, it's starting to get cold. I'm out here in Minnesota. So we plug the trucks in every day after, uh, before we go home, after we're done with our runs. But yeah, y'all, that was my pre-trip inspection right there. As far as fluids goes, we will check those periodically. But what time is it? It's like, 605, 606, 605, so head out to landfill. Don't open until seven o'clock anyway, so it's gonna take what, roughly 35 minutes to get there. So yeah. And then as far as paperwork wise, I already put my numbers in. So at the end of the day, you know, you gotta write, well, the beginning, you gotta write the beginning mileage and then ending mileage and I'll just write it for the next day make it a little bit easier you know and then do I do a part I partially do my pre-trip the day before but then I'll go back you know make sure I'll write if there's any defects or anything wrong with anything and if not we good there As far as, you know, this truck, ain't, it ain't like extremely dirty, but I mean, the job that I do, you know, you can only keep this thing clean for so long as far as like the floor wise or the deck, you know what I mean? That it's, we hauling garbage and especially in the summer, stuff blowing in, dust blowing in and, you know, tracking stuff in here. So 
But yeah, that was a little preacher. That's how I start my morning every morning. Might do a little bit more. Might like I said, might pop the hood, check the fluids and stuff like that. And uh, cause I'm running local and I, I run what, 26 miles one way. So what's that? 26, 26. That's 50. What is that? 52 miles each load. So you know I'm not going state to state or anything like that. But all right, y'all, I was just showing y'all the little pre-trip skate. And I will uh, catch y'all later. All right, let's see if I can creep on through this roundabout. Well, I guess I, we got, I got one of our trucks in front of me, so I didn't even realize I caught up to him. that sir ski or ma'am ski <laughs> whoever's in that vehicle skate you know riding seven riding sixth gear rpm's too high put that jump put it back in drive i had it in manual i'm in an automatic truck but there is a manual mode what's good y'all i just got to the landfill skate what time is it it's 6 38 so got roughly 20 minutes to wait until they open the gate damn i'm man i'm raw with this shit. nah for real though got about got 20 minutes left until they open the gate um and then i got two trucks ahead of me so i'm gonna have to wait until they get unloaded and then you know what's next I get to pull up. Well, I'm already be pulled up, but I'm back into the dozer blade, and then I'm gonna get unloaded. All right, just got weighed in with my first low skate. Yes, sir. What was that like? Eighty-four thousand or something like that. That's my what gross weight. Everything. You know what I mean? So, I got about, I got over 40K in the trailer. Cause this whole uh, the tractor and trailer together is a, like 39,000 or something like that. So. Yeah, I got about 40K. I'm loaded up with about 40K pounds. 40,000 pounds plus. Yes, yeah, sir, Ski. It's snowing. It's snowing out today. It's Friday. And I got shit to do. Now you know. I'm up next after them. And then there's a truck behind me as well. That'll be coming in. Coming up. That's good. So I usually just pull ahead just a smidge, would you? I try to line up as best as I can. That's good. With the other truck, you know, since the I'm not lining up with the dozer blade, I gotta line myself up with the truck. So I can't even see it, so that like I can't really see it. So I mean, I'm like damn near perfectly lined up. Yeah, I can see the headlight now. So I'm, I'm lined up pretty good. And then I just gotta wait until he is getting he's done unloading. And then I can just you feel me back straight into the blade and get unloaded myself.
about to go open my tarp and open this door so I can get empty. in that dozer, ain't it? Ah, uh, dang. He's backing that gen up like I just backed up the truck and the trailer. I learned how to back it up quicker, faster, getting better. Man. I know y'all done seen this process many times. You on? I know y'all done seen this process many times, but put that gen and drive. Got my foot on the service brake. PTO ski. Man, put it back in neutral. Release the service brake. Turn on my idle. Go run it at like a 14. Usually run at 1500 RPMs. But yeah, I just wait till I uh, hear him over the radio, let me know I'm empty, and then we're good from there. Okay, we got this coconut water. I'm drinking a couple of these a week, maybe a few a week. The last one I had with it, uh, this brand wasn't all that good though. This one better for the show ski. That's my energy drink. I don't, I don't drink no damn energy drink, so I'm straight on that. Another way I know if I'm empty, if if they can't tell me over the radio, I mean they'll like flash their light or I think they got a horn. But also, this is the suspension reading right there. So once that get like down here area, is that mean I'm either getting you know close to empty or I'm empty and then also I could just feel like you can kind of feel it like you, and uh, another way is just looking in the mirrors which I continually do either way um, or no matter what I look in the mirrors and to see if there's trash falling out of the back of my trailer or not still because like I said I got a walking floor so I'll be able to see it you know and if I don't see nothing coming out for a good 10 15 seconds Nine times out of ten, I'm empty. Should be about empty now. Levi, you're good. Thank you. I'll pull ahead so they got a clear, so they can have a enough room to clear a path behind me. So, Alright, now I'm about to hop out, go clean the, go clean the uh, back of the trailer up because there's stuff hanging or, you know what I mean, or like strings hanging out. So I gotta clear up the back of the trailer and then um, close the door and close the tarp. like this or there'd be like strings or you know plastic plastic strings 
rope, all types of stuff that come out. We don't want that hanging outside of the trailer. Got bags. Sometimes it be like those whole bags hanging. So we gotta come back, clean it up. Make sure we good. So you didn't clean out the rim. Slide on over there. Damn. points of contact in and out the vehicle grab some lead you know what I mean <laughs> on my way down empty well especially a job like this yeah you wanna you know you want a time limit somewhat you know we got 10 hours in a day 10 and a half hours well we don't even got that much time really because we got about like nine hours or so to to do four or five loads a day because we can our last the last time we can dump is at 3 40 i believe so we would have to leave the station exactly at three o'clock or a little bit before if we leave anytime after we're gonna risk getting here when they're already done here so bye yeah 39,560 empty see that speed limit 35 I'm on I'm on cruise control at 35 you know we ain't going no less and we ain't going no more we ain't going over you know Gotta stay safe. And then we got this camera. In. slips for me and then i knew this was gonna be like this but it, i still got on here <laughs> it's crazy not too bad but yeah y'all i just got caught in traffic i knew better should have took the back road rookie rookie mistakes today man i forgot my slips my mill slips and then i done got on the highway knowing that it's gonna be backed up knowing it's gonna be buku traffic it's wild because I just seen like right after the whole backup and stuff, the two lanes, there's literally there was literally no cars where the two lanes were. That was wild. Whip this junk ski, gear three, put it in manual mode because this thing like to act up. Put it back and drive. Bam. Damn, as simple as that. People talk all they talk all that shit about rookie drivers, but 
I mean, some of them like me are, they're very safe. I'm very attentive, you know what I mean? Very aware, so, and I drive extra safe. Some people get too comfortable. And then that's when, you know, that's where you get issues and accidents and close close calls and stuff like that. But all right, we back. About to get preloaded. Now I gotta wait for my meal slips, man, which is kinda sucks, but you know, I'm out, I'm on the clock, so. Gotta wait for those and go open this door real quick, Ski. still full I mean of course there's because it was more and more coming in still but yeah it's been last couple days it's been real busy getting real backed up like floor getting full or it's been stayed staying full keep getting filled right back up take a few loads out and few loads worth come back in all right y'all about to go open this tarp and close this door get preloaded and then park the truck all right y'all just got home you feel me just pull up you feel me it's friday just got off of work you feel me just got done with that 10 hour shift skate all right 